In this video, I'm going to show you how to produce a graph on Google Sheets with a trend line, an equation, and an R squared value. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you label your spreadsheet. And you can label it with something that's familiar so that later on, if you want to find your spreadsheet, you'll be able to search it up and easily find it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to label my X and Y column. So the first column I'm going to fill out is going to be my X column, which is the horizontal axis on the bottom. If you're doing a science lab, that is your independent variable. The independent variable is the thing that you have physically manipulated. So this little experiment that I made up here, I changed the time. I allowed it to elapse um, in one second intervals, and then I measured a distance for a car to travel. So I put time in parentheses. I put S next to it so that we know that the unit is seconds. And then for my second column, I labeled it as distance in meters. Now, my second column is going to be my y axis, which is the vertical axis on the graph, which is my dependent variable. That is a variable that I'm measuring the results of to see if it responds to the independent variable. So I have a bunch of numbers here, and I'm going to just hold my cursor over it and then drag over the, these two columns as I'm holding down my mouse. And then I'm going to hit insert and then chart. Okay, it's going to come up with my graph. It's going to title it for me. It's going to label the Y and X axes for me. So everything is pretty good to go. And if you don't want a scatter chart, you can click this little drop down tab over here and then pick line graph. You can pick a bar graph, pie chart. Um, I usually go with the scatter chart so that I could run a best fit line through my points. So that's what I did. I already had it up as a scatter chart. Now I'm going to click on customize, click on series, and series is pretty much just going to have everything I need. I'm going to scroll down a little bit, and I usually just pick trend line, which is my best fit line. If you want to pick uh, data labels or error bars and things like that, you could add your data labels. You could add error bars. I typically leave those out, but feel free to use whatever you like. And then I'm going to scroll down a little bit more and it's going to say label. As of now, it says none. When I hit this little drop down tab, I'm going to click use equation. So it's going to display my equation right over here in the y equals mx plus b format, where this is my y variable. This is my m, which is my slope. And then this is my b value, which is my y intercept. And if I want an r squared value, I can go ahead and click on this and it will give me my r squared value as well. Now, from there, you can click these three little dots. And if you want to do any of these things like downloading or copying it and then placing it somewhere else, like placing it in a lab report or a presentation, you can definitely do that. So that's pretty much it. That's how you plug in data, make sure everything is labeled correctly, and then produce a trend line, an equation, and an R squared value. Thank you for watching and listening.